Hello all you YouTubers and uh, especially those on MonsterFishKeepers.com I finally got in my uh, Odyssey CFS 14i in today and I thought I would quick shoot a quick video because not very many people have these up on YouTube um, as you can see the box is quite large uh, next to it is an Eheim 2262 that is on my 350 gallon tank and below that is an XP Rena XP3 and as you can see the box is quite large um, compared to the other two we all know how large the uh, Eheim 2262 is and uh, this is almost double that as far as tallness of the uh, actual filter um, I will be back in just a moment I am going to uh, I don't have anybody to hold the camera so I'm gonna have to uh, cut the box open and then I'll try my best to get this on video to show you uh, the unboxing back I've got it out of the box and uh, for you that thought that the box is probably taking up a lot of the space um, I'll just say no uh, this is uh, the 22 Eheim you can see that there's a major difference there in the size of them um, it's probably like the size of two XP3's um, this is the intake it's about the size of a shoe basically um, comes with a filter pad over top of the strainer the uh, comes with the two tubes looks like they're about three feet three foot long one inch the tops are basically similar to the uh, FX5 and also to the uh, CFS 700 that I used to have on my 220 which uh, I never had a problem with in basically almost two years that's why I decided to go with this bigger filter for my 350 because uh, um, I never had a problem with it um, comes with the fasteners for the hoses and the uh, output is uh, typical ones most filters and I do like that the power switch is separated so therefore uh, I can uh, detach the filter and pick it up and move it because it is probably going to be very heavy uh, when you go to move it somewhere so I do like this that I don't have to uh, uh, unplug it and take it with me so give me just a second here and I'll try to get it open As you can see, it's a quite large filter. I'm going to move it over here in the light. That's a two liter bottle just next to it, give you kind of an idea of what its size of it. Um, it is about three foot tall. Probably one of the largest filters I've seen. Um, ever basically in keeping tanks that I've ever kept um, it does have bio balls and the top of it is full of bio balls and it has um, two separate plugs one for the UV and one for the filter itself so therefore that you and it does have a turn switch on it for the UV on off switch 
on both the filter and on both switches so you can turn either one of them off and on um, which is nice in case you don't want to run the UV continuously so that's just the unboxing and I will come back later with another uh, um, video it's going on this nice 350 gallon tank I got here um, right now I have ordered some uh, geos for it they'll be in next week and uh, it's been running for about three months but I decided to change my stock around so it's going to sit right here on the side and then I'm going to plumb it up to the side take one of the uh, XP3's off and uh, put this bad boy in its spot so um, I do appreciate you watching the video and I will get another one up um, of it running as soon as I can get it up.